If you're frustrated with the fact that you can't clone a Kajabi pipeline or your account limits the number of pipelines you can use, this video is for you. I'm Glenn Allen, course creation coach, and I help online entrepreneurs avoid the overwhelm of digital marketing. Okay, I have to confess. As of the recording of this video, you still can't clone a pipeline in Kajabi, but I've found the most fast, the most fast, the fastest, most efficient workaround and a pipeline workflow that's going to allow you to get more out of a pipeline if your account restricts the number of pipelines you can use. It's also going to help you keep track of all the different pipelines and pieces that you might put into one master campaign if you're combining pipeline templates from a course like Amy Porterfield's Digital Course Academy. So stay tuned. So as you notice, when you go to add new pipeline, there is no clone pipeline. You've got this blank pipeline and that does us no good. So here's what you gotta do. I'm gonna go back for a second. And I've got all the pipelines that I have here in my account. Let's say I wanted to clone this five pager right here. This is a pretty big pipeline. In fact, the reason it's so big is because what I do is when I have one campaign for a funnel, I put them all into this pipeline. And if you want to know how to do that and how to use a pipeline as sort of a placeholder for an entire funnel, watch my video on this. I'm going to put a card up in the top for that. But anyway, so I've got this opt-in page. It goes, when you submit the form, it goes to a six email sequence, which is dripped out over time. And then if they want to buy the offer that's in the sequence, it brings them to this page. Sorry, this is actually the thank you page, the confirmation page. Um, then we've got the sales page here for the offer that's given in this six email sequence. And then that's on a timer. So when that uh, offer expires, there's a waitlist page that says, sorry, it's closed, but there's a button to join the waitlist. And then this is the waitlist confirmation. So that's a lot of different things to have to create again from scratch. If you want to make a similar campaign like this, here's what you're going to do leave the pipelines, go to website, from here go to pages, and you're gonna to go to pipeline pages. Find the pipeline page you wanna copy, click on it, and one by one, you're gonna clone the pages. Now I already went ahead and did this on another, uh, outside of this video, I went and did these two pages, so I'll show you how you do it on this one. Very simple, go to clone. If you're trying to clone this so that you could basically use it as a template to start again with a new design, it's really important that the first thing you do is go to details down here. I know this is not the most easy to find thing here, but you want to then change your title. LU is now closed. It's very important that you never put a capital letter inside this URL. Save it. Scroll down. If you don't want to say LU is now closed or you, you know, let's say it says like confirmation page or something like that. Whatever you type in here, that's going to show up here in the tab for the person browsing the page. And sometimes you just need an internal note like this is a confirmation page or this is a sales page. Don't put that in here. Obviously don't leave it in your URL. What you can do is, sorry, you can put it in here. Let's say this was a sales page. Then you just overwrite it and this will allow you to control what the audience sees. That way, you know it's a sales page internally, they don't see the sales page part here. So I'm gonna hit save. And all you gotta do now is just go back out two times, go back to your pipeline pages, and go to the next page that's in here. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the notification confirmation, and I'm gonna clone that. Page pops up again. I would edit the details, change the name, make it unique, and then save it. Go back here, and I've got to do it one last time. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go clone. Once that page is generated, again, go to details, give it a unique name, and if necessary, URL, and then save it and go back. Now, we're gonna to go to landing pages, and then we're gonna to go to pipeline pages over here, and we're gonna say new pipeline. Now we're gonna grab a blank pipeline, create pipeline, and 
we're going to say, okay. Okay, so once this all loads, you'll see you got this blank page that we're not even going to use. And you'll see if you scroll down this line here, we can go to add page and click existing landing page, hit next, grab the copies. Let's see, I want to start with the first copy. So this is my opt-in page, hit save. And then I'm going to do it again, add page. And I'm not going to worry about what order these in because you can drag and reorder them and I'll show you that in a moment. I'm just going to click and make it happen. So that's a copy, hit save, add page. Go to the drop down, grab the copy, hit save. I'm going to just quickly remove that. I don't need it. Add page, existing, next, drop down. There's another one, hit save. Now let's take a look. There should be, I believe, five pages in this. That's one, two, three, four. So I'm missing a page. I'm going to add one more, add page, existing page, hit next, go to the drop down. I'll use now closed. Now, one thing to note when you're adding a page that's existing, you'll notice that only, pa only pages that don't belong to another pipeline are in here. So none of the pages that I've already added to this pipeline are in here, and none of the pages that are on another pipeline are in here. And so if you need a page that's in a pipeline, you have to clone it so that you can put it in another pipeline. So now these are all out of order. This technically should be the first point of entry. So I'm going to change the order. You go right here and you say reorder and just click and you drag it up and it's the first page. And then after that, what happens is you get the confirmation. It's the thank you page. And then after that, there's the emails which I don't see. Oh, you can't reorder the emails because it's attached to this page already. So I'm not going to worry about that. But these are out of order. The next thing that happens is somebody would get sent to the sales page. And then after that, if it's closed, they would get this notification. And if they want to be on the wait list, they would get this confirmation of submitting their information to be on the wait list and it's done. So then what you can do is say done right up here in the corner. Now you look, the whole thing is in order. The whole thing is cloned. All you gotta do is go in and make any edits you want, edit the titles, edit the, edit the URLs, or edit the designs. So it's not a perfect solution, but it definitely works. And a lot of people are very confused about how this is done. This is the quickest workflow I can find. Now, one little thing to add. If you delete a pipeline, your pages do not disappear which is helpful sometimes and also can be a little bit messy in your entire Kajabi account. So when I delete this, because I don't really need it, what happens is all of these pages basically get wiped off the plate of a pipeline and they wind up back in here in pages and they become standalone pages. So you see, these are all those pages that I had already cloned and threw into a pipeline. So, what you need to know about this is if you end up deleting a pipeline and you don't want the pages that were on it, you need to go back into your pages and start deleting them manually. If you found this video helpful, please repay the favor. Subscribe, and if you haven't already, let me know what kinds of launch-related content you'd like to see me cover in future episodes. Put that in the comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you online.